Today what I'm going to cover is how to use the PAP editor to make a customized monster.pap file. Um, the reason I, I do this or I, I want to cover this is because uh, it's a, it's a few, there's a few steps to it um, that can be a little complex or a little confusing to understand. But essentially the gist of it is, is I'm going to take Shiva's monster.pap file and I'm going to make a copy of it or a version of it for uh, Demi Bahamut, Demi Phoenix, Emerald Garuda, Ruby Ifrit, and Topaz Titan. Uh, and I'll show you a few of the things that I do to the file to essentially make it, it, it's, it becomes a base, the, the basis of um, the animation edits so that when I do an edit, this is going to be the file that I actually wrap it, wrap the edits into, um, like the idle animation and the movement animations and the death animations. Um, what I usually do with these files is I will add, a, I sometimes will add a visual effect or I'll, I'll look at the animation codes to be sure that things aren't going to cause issues. Like there is, there is some issue sometimes with Bahamut um, in the PVP when you summon him in PVP, that he'll default to a different idle animation if a certain animation code is on the monster.pap file. So I'll show you what I do to cancel all the animations except the ones that are needed, and as well as kind of future proof the file so that uh, like how I'll rewrite a code to make it so that in the future if an animation does get added to uh, like Ruby Ifrit's monster PAP I can then add an animation code with hex code editing to the monster.pp file and not have to go back and make an entirely new one um, so what I'm going to start with first I'm going to start with Shiva's monster.pp file. I'm going to come in here, paste it here. So here, I pulled it up here, and I'm going to also pull Bahamut's. And I'm targeting Bahamut's file. So here's all the animation codes that are here on Shiva's file. We have a we have a death animation, we have a dead pose animation. Um, this is like if when she takes damage, she kind of like jerks a little bit. Uh, these two LP, that's a looping animation that's usually for spell casting. Um, but what I'm going to do is first I'm going to cover cancel, like uh, disabling an animation. And this is where I future proof this animation or this file as well. So I'm going to come here, and I'm going to change this to cbdm underscore, and then I'm going to add 15 zeros. Um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the reason I do this is if in the future an animation gets added for Demi Bahamut, and I need to go in and create an animate or input an animation here I've I've left enough space in the hex code here to be able to edit it with like a hex code editor and not have to edit it in the game and the reason I do this is because a lot of animation a lot of times whenever I do repack an animation file specifically monster.pp animation files it becomes unrecognizable by the editor. I don't know why that is or what, what the issue is, but the file works fine, it's just the editor no longer recognizes it for some reason. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm also going to add it here, where the second animation code is. Then I'm going to do the same thing for these. Since I don't have, I don't need casting loop animations. And just repeat the process. 
process. And keep just go through the list here. I don't know what these all need, or what these all are, but I don't need visual effects on these. I don't need in invisibility settings yet. I'll go and remove the visual effects, because those are uh, Shiva's visual effects, the actual fight version. So I don't, I don't need those. I don't need these codes either. I don't need that. Just go back and double check the rest of these. Alright, so all the unnecessary animation codes have been disabled. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the dead po or the dead and the dead pose code. So with Demi and Bahamut and uh, Emerald Garuda and Demi Phoenix. They have a different code for their death animations and their death pose. So the death animation code for uh, them is FTDED underscore one. So this is the initial animation that plays whenever they essentially die. So the reason I'm doing this, the, the reason I have to edit this now is because if I go back, or if I try to edit it after I've repacked the animation, it's not going to pull up here. It's not going to open. So I have to make a base cut or a base file now. So ft ded, and for the dead pose animation, that is ded3. There is a there is a two lp, which is a loop uh, or a dead pose loop. Um, but that's not really necessary for this. Uh, now, what I'm going to do for the dead pose animation, I'm going to add a visual effect, or a visual effect file. That's going to be here, C012. And for visual effect files, I found pretty much that I need to change the 255 to negative one and negative one. Don't know why, but that just seems to be the way this setting works. Um, there are other settings I've seen. I don't know exactly what they do. I think there's one that's 769. Um, I've seen on summon weapons. If it binds it to the summon weapon, I haven't been able to recognize how or why, because it doesn't seem to work when I change the summon weapon to a, like summon creature um, maybe it has something to do with the bone actually the bones on the actual weapon I, I'm not sure but I need to also add a file path so I'm going to come here where I have file path listed um, these are not the actual file paths uh, for Demi Bahamut and Demi Phoenix. They, some of them may be. I may have gotten lucky on certain ones. But these are just file paths that I am going to create if they don't exist. So that each summon has, you know, each summon has its own monster code. Each file path has the monster code. So that each one is unique and I can interchange them as I desire, or can keep them from having visual effect bleed over whenever I do edits. So I'll copy that code and then put it here. So now there's 7102dpop01h, and I'll update that. So now, right now, what I have is a edited monster.pap file for Shiva when I put her on Demi Bahamut. Now I'm going to export this. 
and I'm just going to call it something like uh, Monster Garuda Bahamut. Documents, text tools, save it as mod pack. Alright, now I'm just going to go through the rest of them. So here, that was Demi Bahamut. Now for Demi Phoenix. It's going to be the same thing, but I'm going to change this AVFX file to the one I'm making for Demi Phoenix. Paste. Update. Export. Now, Phoenix. Now, I'm going to skip ahead to Garuda because she's a flying type. I know, I'm like, talking like Pokemon types. But I, you, you get it. Oops. So now, paste this in, select, update, and then go to my file here, copy, paste. Um, and the reason why I use her, or I do this using her uh, monster.pap file path is some creatures I I just realized I've been naming it Garuda Bahamut when it's Shiva um, but it, it doesn't matter it's this is just a name placeholder I'll rename it when I repack it um, the reason why I use the monster.pap files of the creatures of my source creature is because some monster.pap files have sound effects that I can't like you can't see it's hard to find like it's linked with the creature and you can't really find it in the monster.pap file so all right uh, let me just cover this now so Titan and Ifrit have different death animations and uh, death pose files. Theirs are, theirs is a DED for the death animation. And DED pose for the death pose. Now update that. Now I'm going to come back here to my visual effect and change that. So, yeah, the reason why I use, I'm using Shiva's and not just repacking Bahamut's with Shiva's animations is because of those sound effects. Um, like Bahamut in particular has like wing flapping sound effects when he moves and that's on the the 2f lp0 and so this uh gets around that or kind of removes it uh, or you will use his sheet will use shiva's to lp0 in fact let me look at hers so yeah, you see, she only has the animation, nothing else. It also means that the duration of the animation will match the duration of the animation I pull, or I repack into it. So... Now, come back here, put in Ifrit's... So now, export these, 
And I'm just going to exit the game. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import these mods that I just made. I'll just import them all. And while it does that, I'm going to come back here and highlight. Start with Bahamut. All right, now raw files, Let's see if I have a folder for her already. I do not, so I'm going to make one. It help if I put in the right number. I'm going to call this monster Bahamut. Now, when I go to extract it, well, first I have to uh, pull Shiva's skeleton here. And use my other notepad. that. Alright, now I'll pull Shiva Skeleton. And save it there. And I'll go to the folder that I have it saved at. And the skeleton file. Alright, so as you can see here, I have several animation slots here with just several zeros in them. They're canceled. But if I now go to hex edit and I open set animation file, Those codes now have so many zeros in them that if I need to in the future, I can put in a new code there and not have to make a new uh, base monster animation file. And go down here and you can see they have the same codes down here. This is where the second, or putting in the second code was important or editing the second field um, there's the 7102 DPOP uh, AVFX file path, uh, the movement file path, and then the other one that was blank. So yeah, that is how I make the base monster code, or monster.pap file. Um, can then just repack it with your with the animations you're going to use, um, and you've it's now future proofed against uh, additional animations, and it has the visual effect file path on it for editing the Depop visual effect uh, to go along with the uh, death or the Depop uh, animation, and that's everything.